<sighs> okay, we're just gonna get right into this. You know, over the last few days, I've been seeing y'all's comments on some of my videos, and I really gotta take this thing into perspective. I gotta sit down here and analyze this stuff because you guys are really making me think here. You know, I've seen a lot of debates in my comment section as to whether Jeff Jeffy ruined SML or if he didn't ruin SML. And I'm here to tell you exactly what I believe is the case from an OG SML fan perspective. Now, I will also be looking at the new perspective, new SML fans perspective because they do exist. So, you know, um, I'm just going to keep everything into account. But the question is, did Jeffy actually ruin SML? Or did he, or is he like the best thing that happened to SML? Because again, there's a lot of things we have to take into perspective. What is going on everyone? It's SML content here on YouTube. And today we're going to be analyzing whether Jeffy was actually good for SML or if he wasn't good for SML in this video, because there's a lot, a lot of controversy between all y'all and whether he's actually the best character or whether he, if he's the worst thing to ever happen to SML. Let's get right into it. So Again, the reason people are saying Jeffy was the worst thing to happen to SML is because if you guys don't know, SML got demonetized. So they went from SML to SBL, which is Super ba uh, or sorry, SML to SLL, which is Super Luigi Logan, because Jeffy demonetized their videos and they didn't want to risk getting their channel completely taken down. So they moved to Super Luigi Logan. Then from Super Luigi Logan, they moved to Super Bowser Logan again from Jeffy because he wasn't family friendly. Now, a lot of people are saying this ruined the way SML goes now and i'm kind of a believer of it ever since they moved to sbl their videos have gotten worse than they were i don't think we'll ever go back to og sml ever again um yeah quarantine played a big part in these episodes getting worse again you don't have pablo there to help script um and you don't have any of that so again it, it is a little bit uh different but again from a perspective where you have to look at this jeffy did kind of make the episodes worse and kind of ruin them single-handedly i don't think there is any debate about that um yeah so like i can't really i guess i can kind of agree with the fact that jeffy was a good like thing to happen because at the end of the day he did make sml gain a lot of subscribers brought in a lot of new fans a ton of revenue until it didn't and you know i feel like jeffy kind of blew up the channel more than any character has ever been able to blow it up i feel like jeffy is kind of the junior of today you know junior and chef pee, pee if you didn't know blew up the channel back like seven years ago or six years ago but the real or even five years ago and then after about like th three years ago jeffy's the one that created all this new stigma and all these new fans around sml so that's why people are saying he's good but from an OG fan perspective, I have not seen an OG video, or I've not seen a, a video recently that is as good as some of the OG ones um, were from, again, the OG days. You know, I, I'm an OG fan. I've been through it all. I've been through the Pokemon series, the um, watched all the Playtime series growing up. I watched, you know, uh, the Summer School series, which was really, really good. I watched all those series and, you know, I've watched the McDonald's videos and, you know, like I, I'm not really seeing the same sort of OG SML anymore. And that is partly because of Jeffy, because, yeah, again, he was the one who destroyed kind of SML's OG reputation. So I think what people have to do now is kind of stop thinking about the OG days. Those OG days are done, okay? You know, it's kind of like Fortnite, you know, those OG days are done, you know, but you just got to like, if you want to play the game, go ahead, you move forward, right? But for me, you know, I, I feel like what's good about SML is you can always rewatch those OG episodes if you want to. Um, but with the newer episodes, you know, 
it's not really getting any better. I mean, I have seen an improvement in the DNA test. The DNA test was genuinely not a bad episode. I feel like it was actually like it made me it made it made me smirk. It made me laugh a little a little bit. So you know, it's kind of good to see some old reminiscence of SML coming back to you. Um, but again, J Jeffy, he's a good character. Like. Okay, in terms of Jeffy being a good character or not, you have to objectively agree that he is technically, uh, I guess if you don't like his stupidity, he's not, but he's funny sometimes. Like, I can guarantee you that you've laughed at Jeffy at least one time. Like, you must have found something funny about him. And, you know, at some, somewhere or another, you know, his, his jokes are funny to some people uh, and aren't to others like for me I prefer those Brooklyn tea guy Mr. Goodman kind of jokes the more mature jokes um as opposed to Jeffy's kind of jokes but I still like Jeffy's jokes you know um and I still think he's an outgoing character that's good and I don't think you can really disagree with the fact that he has brought in new subscribers and a new perspective to SML but is that new perspective really good I don't know. I want you guys to comment your thoughts down below um, about whether you think Jeffy was a good thing or a bad thing. Personally, I believe Jeffy was a... I, I think he's a good thing to happen, but to an extent, you know. But at the same time, he's a good thing for new fans, but for OG guys like me, he's probably not the best thing to happen. I'm going to be honest. So that's it for me. I hope you guys liked the video. I hope you guys, you know, smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel for more SML debates and content. And that's going to be me signing out. Peace out, brothers.